Hi, I'm Doug from Talonic Instruments. Kikasui, Japan's premium manufacturer of power supplies, have just released their latest model, the PWR01 series. These are also ranging power supplies, and there's three output powers to choose from, a 400 watt, an 800 watt, and a 1200 watt. Let's take a closer look. Now, there are four output voltages. There's a 40 volt, an 80 volt, a 240, and a 650. Let's take a look at the 40 volt unit. Now, you can see from the power graph that these units are limited by power. Um, so they go from 0 to 40 volts, and then there's a, a 40 amp unit, an 80 amp, and a 120 amp unit. Let's have a look at the 80 volt unit. So 0 to 80 volts, so that could be either 0 to 20 amps, or 0 to 40 amps, or 0 to 60 amps, depending on which power you need. Then we've got the 240 volt unit, so 0 to 240. That could be up to 5 amps, 10 amps, or 15 amps, again, depending on which one you need. And then the highest voltage unit will go from 0 to 650. You can have an output current capacity of 1.85 amps, 3.70 amps, or 5.55 amps for the big unit, the 1200 watt. Let's take a look at the front panel. You've got a high resolution display for voltage and current. You've got a voltage control, and that can either be coarse or fine, and also a current control, again, coarse or fine. You have over voltage protection and over current protection functions. You have a memory function where you can store different setups. You have a power display so you can display power instead of voltage and current. You also have a key lock function where you can make things nice and safe. Now on top of this there's a script function. Now this is really nice. So this is where you can basically play a edited profile that you've made using the Kikasui software. Now that can be stored on the unit and you can play that at any time. You don't need a computer to run that profile. Front panel output terminals. Now these are limited to 10 amps. On the rear of the unit we've got the comms interfaces. So we have a LAN LXI compliant interface, a USB interface and an RS-232 interface. You have the rear panel bus bars with sensing and the analog control interface where you can control the unit with a 0 to 10 volt or a 0 to 5 volt signal and you can also use this for monitoring. Now let's take a look at the features. The first one, the sequence function. Now this supports triggered synchronization. So this is where you can connect multiple power supplies together where you might want to turn on their output voltage at different times. Now this is particularly useful for powering up a board. The next one is the variable internal resistance function. Now this is particularly useful if you want to simulate a battery where the battery voltage may drop under load. Now, Again, these are LAN LXI compliant units. They have USB, RS-232 as standard interfaces. There's an output on-off delay function, a soft start-stop function, internal memories, and a web browser interface. Don't forget to subscribe and look at our other videos. Thanks for listening.